vlogmas day 16. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha. I'm happy to have you. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that little bell icon down below to be notified when I release a new video. Today I got my laundry hamper and my laundry bags delivered and I am so excited because I put it together. It was pretty easy. The only thing that kind of kicked my ass was the laundry bag that goes inside of the hamper. I love the material though. It's like a canvas material, but the bag was just like turned inside out and tangled. So it took a little while to kind of get it all situated and tied up inside of the hamper, but it looks really beautiful and I'm really happy with the size and the look of it, it looks very modern and it fits the color scheme of the bathroom. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like really quick. Ladies and gentlemen, her. And as you can see, it matches perfectly with the color scheme. We have the nice shower here, the little like tones of gray down here, the gray towels, this little rug right here. So it just kind of fits perfectly. This is the current situation right now. We have our little scale, our you know little setup right here where we have baby wipes and toilet paper. So I'm thinking I wanna put the hamper up against this wall, but I don't know where I'll put this stuff. So I'm going to try to figure that out and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like if I move this stuff. I like it, but it just looks a little awkward and I feel like it makes the bathroom look smaller. This is what it looks like on the inside. So the bag you just tie it right here on this, on the ends. And it's very spacious, it's very deep. I love the material of the bag. It's really, really nice and beautiful and sleek. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. But I'm just trying to see what I can do to make it less congested in here. Do you guys think it looks weird? Let me know in the comments down below um, if it looks a little awkward. I mean, it's efficient and you know, you still have space if you're sitting on the toilet, TMI, I know, but whatever. If you're sitting on the toilet, you have enough space. It doesn't feel super tight. Okay, you guys, 15 minutes later, I decided to keep this here, but then I changed out the tables. I took this table out and put this one in just because it has a little shelf on the bottom. So I figured that would be perfect to have the toilet paper and the wet wipes and stuff, but I can still have this plant in here and I still have room for the garbage can and everything just has its place and it feels more roomy. So. Yay for productivity and problem solving. So now my dilemma is, do I leave it as is or should I put the laundry bag inside of this bag so that I can put my dirty clothes in here and then when, I'm thinking like this maybe, does that look stupid? You can still see a little bit of this. It doesn't look as cute, but I can maybe tuck this in. But anyways, my plan is that I could just throw my clothes in here and then when I'm done, I just pop this out. Pop this out, get my clothes, and then take them downstairs and this stays here. Should I do that? I think I'm gonna do that.
And I think that's it. I'm gonna leave it like this. There you go. And then we can have our own little baskets. This is what the painting for my boyfriend's mom currently looks like. I'm definitely not done yet, but uh, I'm letting it dry. And then tomorrow I'm gonna put the gloss and then do any last minute touches. But yeah, I love, I love the texture. And the texture of the water and the little rocks. So that's what it looks like, and I will show you guys the finished product maybe tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm sitting on the couch now. I'm just chilling. It's been about 30 minutes since I saw you guys last, um, but I'm just here on my computer and I am dying because our breeder just sent us an email and she included all these beautiful pictures of all the puppies and they are two and a half weeks old and they are just the cutest things in the world. If you haven't watched my previous vlogs, I'm just gonna tell you that my boyfriend and I are planning on getting a Cavapuchon puppy. The litter was born on November 26th, 2021, and it was a litter of seven boys, which is really, really rare. So there were no girls in this litter, which is crazy. I never knew that could even be a thing, but it's, a thing and they have their eyes open and will soon be learning how to walk they're really really cute so we got the official date and time and then we have to go and see the puppies and we're going to get a tour of the um, location we're going to meet the mom and the dad and the breeder second in line so there's one other couple ahead of us and they're going to go first and then we're going to go around like noon on january 22nd so that's coming up and we're going to have an hour to meet the puppies and try to see which one fits best with our personalities and which one has the curly's coat. We're really looking for a bigger, chunkier little little man. So um, she included these pictures and they're the most adorable little dogs. Let me show you guys. I'm obsessed with the one with the blue bow because he is just exactly what I want or the one with the black bow. So let me show you guys really quick. Look at how adorable. My boyfriend and I are obsessed with him. He just looks so cute. And look at that curly coat. Um, keep in mind, these puppies are hypoallergenic. Look at how cute he is. And we think they're all cute, but we're just trying to find the one that best fits our needs. So I am obsessed with him, and I have a good feeling that he's going to be the one that we end up taking home. And then here's the black one. And he's so cute because he has the white on his face, and he has white little paws. They're all so adorable. They're all so cute. Look at them. Oh. So they're all Cavapuchon puppies. So they're two and a half weeks old and January 22nd, we will be able to go and see them. So I'm planning on making a vlog um, when we go and pick them up and just because I want to capture that experience and remember that experience forever where we go and meet them and um, just to see like which one we end up taking home. But yeah, I'm really, really excited. It's it's really amazing getting updates and seeing how much they've grown in just two and a half weeks and how much they're gonna continue to grow. Their size full grown is gonna be about 35 pounds max. Um, so they're gonna be pretty hefty little guys, but the whole point is to be able to carry him, hold him, put him on our lap, um, take him wherever we want with us and he'll always be able to fit wherever we go. So it's going to be really, really exciting. I will continue to update you guys on this journey, but it's just so surreal knowing that next month around this time, we're going to have a little, a little man. So we're really, really excited. Um, I've never heard of a dog with the name that we're planning on naming him, but I originally heard the name a few years ago and fell in love. And I always thought if I have a, a male dog, I want to name him this name. So um, yeah, we're really, really excited and I just want to continue to update you guys. So um, I think that's it for this vlog. I'm going to finish up some shopping for the puppy and see what else we need to get for him. We already ordered the basics like the crate and a collar, leash, harness, um, enzymatic spray, toothbrush, toothpaste, the comb. Like we have a lot of basics. Everything else is going to be kind of more last minute like the dog food and the little name tag and all of that stuff. Just keep you guys updated on this beautiful journey of puppyhood. And I can't believe I'm gonna be a dog mom. It's so crazy. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. 
and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.